Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the swap that I have received from Laurie who is Measure Once Cut Twice Paper Crafting here on YouTube. Laurie and myself did um, a Fella Love Friday series which you guys might have seen. If you haven't I'll make sure it's linked in the description because she made some gorgeous projects that you should definitely go and check out. There is a playlist I believe on my channel so I'll link that as well. So for the series if you've not been following along each week we just sort of worked on a Christmas project that we chose between ourselves and then at the end there was a giveaway that won half of what I'd made and a giveaway that won half of what Laurie made and then um, we sent the other half of what we've made to each other. I will link both of the giveaway winners down below in case you want to go and check out what they got but you can also see them obviously in the um, Fun Love Fridays videos. So this is what Laurie sent to me. So I've taken it out of the box because I didn't I didn't quite know how to open the box and I didn't want to ruin anything so I've taken it all out and laid it out here. First off is this note so I'm going to read this and I'll move these out of the way and then I'll come back to you to open them. So this is the adorable little card she sent me. She says inside that this was actually made by a friend of hers so I'll link her down below if you want to go and check out her work. That is beautiful. That will go up on my uh, windowsill. I am going to start off with this one because I think I know what it is. So I'll open this up. Oh, I don't want to break anything. I need some scissors. Yep, it's the advent tree. This is stunning. I'm hoping you can sort of see all of it, but I know that... Oh, my camera angle is not as great <laughs> as I wish it was. So I'm going to... She's like cellophaned it so that nothing falls out this is such a pretty pink star pink glitter does it get better than that it's actually a really good idea to wrap it in the cellophane because it sort of holds it all in but you can still see everything so if you want a closer look at this one i think you're gonna have to go to her channel because i'm just i don't think it's gonna fit into my frame but i'll turn it round slowly for you try not to lose all the bits out of the oh dear it's not going very well so you get the general gist of that one. Oh, how sweet is he pop that back in so yeah um, I think I don't think you can see it now I think I might um, I want to go through all the little compartments but I'm not sure let me you can sort of see so I'll go through I'll go through them um, I will just do a side at a time rather than sort of one two three so these little boxes are so cute this paper pad is gorgeous so there's a little reindeer sticker there a cute red pipe cleaner in this one I'm hoping these are all the things so I can't quite see um, holly jolly die cut oh there's another one in there oh there's a few in there um, Santa tracker how cute is that that's going straight in my December daily. For you, that's really sweet. I think, yeah, that's it. I don't want to break anything, but I can't, <laughs> I can't sort of show you and see. So I'm working blind at the moment. Stick that back in there. I don't want anything to get broken or lost. And then this one has a super cute little tinsel star. How sweet is that? Number one has this tiny Santa hat. How sweet is that? I'm really surprised that she found things to fit in the top ones because I would have had zero ideas. Some little presents in this one. Some more little die cuts in here. My favourite elf. These are going to be fantastic for December Daily. I am so far behind in December Daily. Who else is up to date, far behind? How are you guys doing? Um, I'm trying to film some more videos for you today actually to show you how mine's going so um, hopefully they'll be up pretty shortly. This one is just full of ephemera and what is this? What are you? Ah oh, cute little rosette onto this side. Oh number two has this super cute little mitten sticker, puffy sticker. Don't know if he's going to go back in there. There you go. Number eight has these super glittery snowflakes how gorgeous are they this one has some more ephemera more Christmassy ephemera and another one another super cute rosette they're lovely they're like vellum which is gorgeous this one down the bottom is full of bling 
who doesn't love sparkly bling at Christmas time? Well, all of the time, really. Um, this side has a little stocking sticker, some ribbon, a little jingle bell. What else is in here? Oh, lots of little jingle bells in there. I won't grab them all out. And some more bling down the bottom. This time it's pink and red. These will be perfect for Valentine's. I don't know if you guys have already moved on to Valentine's crafting, but I think as soon as my December daily is done, that's where that's what I'll be doing. So number four. Oh look at that! This little chipboard piece. It says winter wishes. Number ten was full of. Let me see if I can get one. Was full of these gorgeous little like different flat back snowflakes. I won't get them all out, and I've got a few on my desk that have <laughs> fallen out, but they're really pretty. So that's in number 10. Number 16 is this super cute little bow. And then his friend. The one at the bottom has, oh, look at that bow. How gorgeous is that? Oh, that's going on my December daily somewhere. Maybe. I'm trying to make, I don't know if you guys have seen um, Laura Rael here on YouTube. She made the most gorgeous, like, like a planner charm, it wasn't for her planner, it was for her December Daily, which is a traveller's notebook. And she put up a tutorial and I really want to try it. So I think that would be really cute on one of those. I'll link her down below as well actually, so you can head over and check that out. This one, another little puffy sticker at the top. A super cute little sequin mix. Oh, the little snowflake. Oh, I think he might be stray from, <laughs> from the other one. I've just sort of been slotting them back in. So that's that one. This one has a, oh, I've pulled it off. Fixed. Um, a super cute little flare button. And then this one has a whole roll of washi in it. <laughs> How sweet is that? Little ho, 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 red washi. I'm really surprised that fits. I don't think I'm gonna put it back in because I'll never get it out again. But I'll pop that one back. And then we're back. To where we started so hopefully you saw all of that and <laughs> um, yeah if you want a closer look at how she made it all that sort of thing she chats it all through on her follow love friday video so i will make sure to link those as i've said and then on the bottom it just has a really cute little handmade by a sticker so that is that one i want to put that somewhere safe you can stay there um, and then we'll move on to this one Oh wow, oh look at that, how sparkly. So this is one of the wands that she made and it's giant, I don't know why I didn't think it was that big. I don't know what gave me that impression but it's massive, oh look at this. That's so pretty and all the sparkle up here. This paper that she's used for the rosette, I've never seen that, I'm sure we've got it in the UK somewhere but I've never seen it, so I might have to try and get my hands on some of that to play with, but it's so fun for a wand. It makes it super dimensional. So that is the gorgeous wand that she made. Then here is the decoration that she made. This one is one of the snowflake ones. I want to open it, but I don't want it to tear. Oh, how sweet is that sticker? One minute, I'll show you. I'll show you up close. The little merry handmade treats made for you by measure once cut twice how sweet is that i've got stickers that sort of say um made by but not seasonal ones like this they're a really good idea and then in here she's packed it with a little sequin mix i'll grab this guy out how beautiful is this my lounge actually has um red and white Christmas decorations but my bedroom is all blue and teal and silver so that will look gorgeous hanging up somewhere in my room and it's double sided oh that's just so beautiful I love that one and then her memory decks card I need to get a hold of wow look at that flower sorry distracted sparkly things um I just had to redo that bit because I realised I showed her address on the back of the card. But um, this is another one of those Merry Handmade Treat stickers. They're gorgeous. So this is her Merry X card. Sorry, I was saying. Um, 
I need to find like a something to hold them or I've seen people make holders for them so I might give that a go but this flower is super sparkly that's gorgeous and I love these rhinestones too so that is actually my first ever memory decks card so that's pretty cool I'm gonna try and find a tutorial like I said for um making my own holder for these so if you know of one someone that's really good let me know down below because I'd be definitely interested to check that out I'm gonna go for this one next oh look at those these are super super cute stamp sets and they're all different like little circle designs oh they're so sweet so I'm presuming they're just like the clear rubber stamps. You just put them onto the clear block and stamp. They'd make fantastic like um, centres for rosettes or in, like, what are they called? Envelope seals, is that what you call them? Oh, they're gorgeous. This one. This one is literally the most drop dead gorgeous embellishment box I have ever seen. How wonderful is that? These trees so much sparkle on everything she knows me so well a little sparkly fence over here and all the little houses oh how sweet i do like this die i didn't buy it because i wasn't sure what i'd use it for you know when you see something and you love the design but you just don't know what project you use it for but now i've seen this i want it which is just typical isn't it I want to show you what's inside, but I don't want to ruin her perfect bow. I don't want to slide it off because I think it would mess with the embellishments. Okay, we're undoing the bow. Take that off. The chawl is actually a really good idea as well to hold it closed and it just adds to the design, I think. And then in here, oh wow, everything is so pretty. Oh. So there's a super cute little sequin mix in here. There's some pearls and some gems. Some of the ones that have been on her projects that she's made, the ones that I've pointed out, so that's fantastic because they are gorgeous. Definitely be using those. And there's some cute crinkle paper at the bottom of each one. This one is full of die cuts, all different ones that she's cut. Oh, this one's lovely ones that she's paper pieced together I think your paper piecing is fantastic I know you said in your video it's not your thing but it looks like it is girl so I won't get all of those out because like I said she shows them on her video these super cute bows I love all these sort of like materials you guys use to make bows where are these from because I need to make some of these Ooh, another little bow and then some of these super cute pastel Santas. I love this box as well. I think I'm just going to keep it as it is on my desk. Just as decor. I love that. Oh, it's beautiful. The final two. Which are these two. And I can already see through the tissue paper what I think these are. And you have spoiled me. Let me just, let me confirm. Oh, it is. Wow. So I don't know, I'm sure I've mentioned this before on my channel somewhere. This trim that all the people in the US are using, we can't get here, like at all. There's nothing similar. I ordered what I thought was similar from AliExpress and it wasn't, it was like a net material, which just didn't do it for me. And um, I mentioned to her or on a group that we're both on, I think that I was looking for it. And she has sent me an absolute ton of it. I think she's literally sent me every colour. Let me open this one. Wow. Yes, she has sent me one of each and they are so gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending these. I know they're not cheap and they're bulky to send. So I really, really appreciate these. They're beautiful. I don't know if to use them or just hoard them forever. But I have so many ideas for these. I've seen so much packaging that looks fantastic with this on it. It just adds something. So thank you a crazy amount for those, Laurie. That's fantastic. So that is everything that she sent me in this swap. Thank you so much to Laurie for working with me and supporting me and just having a really good time with Christmas crafting, which is fantastic because that's what we aim to do. 
and for all the absolutely stunning things that you've sent. Your creations are amazing. So for anybody that doesn't know who Laurie is, Measure Once Cup Twice Paper Crafting here on YouTube, all her links will be down below. Check her out, subscribe, follow, like everything. She deserves all the love in the world. And um, just a final thank you to her for being herself. So Merry Christmas guys, thanks for watching, bye.